Hi, Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos and I'm just coming back to you with just a supplementary video for that pumpkin card file. Um, I was going to show you how to make a layer for it at the front if you wanted it to show like a cut out face version rather than sticking on a paper pieced character. Just another option and I just thought I'd quickly jump in and show you how to do it. So. What I did was, again from Pumpkin Silhouette, I downloaded this face, it's not, it's not from Pumpkin Silhouette, I typed in Pumpkin Silhouette into Pixabay and this was the image I chose as my jack-o'-lantern face and I put it into Workspace. Now obviously when I bring it in, well it's obvious to me, it might not be obvious to you, depends how familiar you are with, this, with um, Canvas. If we want to cut that all out in one piece. The eyes, if you look quick, look at that, that are in the centre there, will just be separate, floating. So you'll just end up with two big eyes if if you didn't do something to deal with that issue, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. So what I've got here is the finished sort of product, as if you will, and that's what we're aiming for. So I'm going to move my base card off to the side. I'm going to take the back layer of my pumpkin, my layered pumpkin, to show you, and that's what I'm going to build it onto. So I've already downloaded the, I'll just go again, this to my computer in exactly the same way as I showed you previously. And again, we'd go into tracing file options, choose the file, once you've downloaded it, and I did the pumpkin face, and then you'd say preview, look for the turquoise line around the shapes, and that will bring it into you. Say OK. Do I want the image? No, I don't. I just want it to pull in that face for me. So that's the face that it's pulled in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I know it's going to have brought in those separately. The rest are just going to be in, they're going to be joined together. So I'm going to ignore, just undo that. And I'm going to save one of them and delete the other. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to bring in my pumpkin shape. And obviously at the minute, my jack-o'-lantern face is a little bit too small. I mean, a little bit too big. So I'm just going to size it down so that it fits nicely in my pumpkin. Now I'm just going to show you what happens when we punch it out. So if I select everything now and go to edit and subtract, you'll see that the eyes are just left as like floating pieces. They would just be floating about. They're not joined on in any way. So what we can actually do to, to prevent that from happening is first of all, I'm going to delete the eyes altogether. So I'm going to zoom, zoom right in and, and then I'll just show you what I did. I double click to expose the nodes and I just drag the box around those nodes that are forming the eye and then click on this minus the nodes and did the same here and minus the nodes. Okay, so then I'm going to view fit to mat again so we can see what we're doing. So this is where we're up to and what I want is a piece that's going to go in there. So what I've got is this piece here which was the original eye that fit in and I'm going to select a rectangle and I'm going to make it smaller. So what I'm essentially making is a bridge between the eye, this part, and the main part of the pumpkin and I'm doing that by making a very thin sort of rectangle and I'm just going to rotate that and I'm going to bring it up to that piece and I'm going to weld it on to the bottom it might just be a little bit long I'm just going to shorten it just ever so slightly and I'm just going to make sure that they're overlapping at the tip and I'm going to select them both just making sure that that is at the end and I'm happy with that and then I'm going to just make that one just ever so slightly wider okay and it's looking like that now Then I'm going to select both edit and weld them then I'm going to click on make a duplicate and then I'm ready to place it in my pumpkin now I have made if you do make the, the the stick too long just bring on a shape and cut it a bit shorter in the way I've shown you before by pressing the overlap and remove the overlap 
I can get rid of that one now because I've got a shorter one and I'm just going to duplicate that one. So I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, position it where I think it looks okay. Then I'm going to position the next one, rotate it, position it where I think it looks okay. And that's what we're looking like now. And then I'm going to select everything and edit and weld. Now what's happened now, as you can see, when I flood fill it with colour again, it's now essentially built a bridge between that and the centre part. So you will, that now will cut all in one piece and you're not messing about trying to stick little tiny circles there. So that would cut as a one layer piece that could fit on top and I've done the yellow piece behind so that it looks like there's light shining through the actual pumpkin. Okay, so that was just a quick um, addition to what we've already done, if you will, that it just suddenly occurred to me that we could do as an alternative to the pumpkin file with a paper piece image on. So that's just another option for you. Okay, that's it for this video. Again, thumbs up. We're still growing our channel. I hope you're still enjoying my videos. Like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.